There are some transformations in the kitchen that just feel like magic. Meringue is one of them. We start with a small pool of egg whites and some sugar and finish with a bowl full of glossy peaks that lend structure and leavening to countless cookies and cakes. We know that the sugar adds not only sweetness, but also stability. But what we wanna know now is, does it matter when we add the sugar? To find out, we made three batches each of meringue cookies, angel food cake, and chiffon cake, adding the sugar to the whites before whipping, after a minute of whipping, or at the very end, once the foam had reached the soft peak stage. We baked them and compared the results. Now we found drastic differences among all of the baked goods, but because meringue cookies have no other ingredients to hide flaws, they show the results best. Adding the sugar before whipping was not ideal. It led to cookies that were dull on the exterior with a too fine crumb. The cakes made with this meringue baked up drier than the rest. When the sugar was added at the end, the cookies had a grainy texture and took on an unappealing brown color. The cakes didn't fare any better. The chiffon was dense and flat, while the angel food was coarse and almost crumbly. Adding the sugar after a minute of whipping was clearly the best across the board. The cookies had an airy, delicate crumb and an attractive exterior and both types of cakes were moist with good structure. So clearly, in all three recipes, timing made a big difference. A meringue is all about capturing air and putting it to use. When egg whites are whipped, the egg proteins unfold and then cross-link to form a network that stabilizes these air bubbles. At the same time, the sugar dissolves in the water from the eggs to form a viscous liquid. Now this liquid is less likely to drain away and collapse the structure. If the sugar is added too early, it interferes with this protein unfolding. It results in a weaker network that can only support small air bubbles. And this is why we see cakes and meringues that have a fine interior texture. If the sugar is added too late, it doesn't fully dissolve and it can't do that important work of stabilizing. Adding the sugar after a brief amount of whipping gives this protein network time to form while leaving enough time for the sugar to dissolve. For ideal volume and stability, add the sugar to the whipped egg whites after the eggs have started to get foamy, 45 to 60 seconds, but well before they've started to form peaks. This is the science of good cooking.